a heartbreaking farewell to their lovely daughter. Yu Jiang and Guo Shuang's daughter Guo Guo died of cerebral apoplexy at the tender age of 13. In the midst of their own grief, the couple made a surprising decision of donating their daughter's organs to the people who needed it. It's a very natural reaction. When we were asked about donating her organs, my husband and I looked at each other and said yes at once. That quick call helped to save the lives of four people. It's been half a year since their tragic loss. Guo and Yu say the pain of losing their only daughter is still fresh, but there's a slight consolation in knowing how much their daughter's organs mean to the people using them now. It helped other people and truly helped us. Knowing our daughter continues to live in another way is a ray of light in all this darkness. They've left the ghost's old bedroom untouched, and they've also decided to share their story, their daughter's short life, and the lives others now enjoy with her help. On Friday, China's Red Cross Society held events across the nation to commemorate organ donors. Voluntary donations are now the only source of organs in China, and the gap between supply and demand remains vast. There is an urgent need to raise awareness about organ donation. On one hand, traditional thinking in China is against it. On the other, there's a huge gap between the number of organ donors and the people who need organ transplants to survive. Li Qing is an organ donation coordinator for China's Red Cross Society. She's been keeping track of the whole process of organ donation and providing support to Guo Guo's family. Nearly 2,000 organ donation coordinators are now registered in China thanks to their efforts as well as the selfless choices made by donors' families such as Guo Shuang. The number of successful organ transplants has increased by nearly 50%. So far, over 200,000 people across the country have registered as donors. All of them admirable. Ning Hong, CGTN, Shanghai.